Hello everyone, this is Dan DeSantis from Muddy Colors and welcome to another book review. It's been much too long. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite comics I've probably read in quite a while, Fantasy Sports number one and Fantasy Sports number two by Sam Bozma. Um, they're really rather unique comics, I think, and they didn't show up on my radar until recently with uh, the release of number two, and then I went back and hunted down number one. Uh, and I don't know how I missed this, because I'm actually quite a fan of Sam's work, or maybe it was just the title. You know, I'm not the target. I'm not a, a particularly big sports guy, so it's possible I just, you know, I'm not the demographic and I, and I missed it. But uh, it's, a really, it's a really cute story about a young girl named Wiz who uh, works for the Order of Mages and has her partner Mug. And one of the things they have to do is basically go out and, and acquire, I guess technically it's steel, ancient relics of power from all these creatures and stuff. And somehow these, these quests always lead them into a challenge that has some sort of bizarre version of a fantasy sport in it. So in this first one, basketball, and the second one, volleyball. Uh, and even though the sport plays a large role in the story, it's not what the actual story is about. Um, it's really super charming, really well drawn, and very well paced. These books kind of read much like an animation to me, which I think a lot of good comics do. Um, but I think there's a lot of reasons for that in particular with Sam's work. Uh, one of the other things, aside from illustration, that Sam does uh, is he does concept art. And I believe he did the background designs and some of the character designs for Steven Universe. So these books have this very hip style that's very current right now amongst animation and stuff, and partly to Sam's credit, that's because he's responsible for that style. So if you kind of dig Adventure Time or Steven Universe or even Miyazaki or something, I think you're going to like the art in these books, which is honestly what first attracted me to it. Like I said, I'm not a sports guy. I'm not like, whoa, a sports comic, but you just can't deny how good the art is. Uh, Sam has won numerous awards from Spectrum, Society of Illustrators, um, I'm sure plenty of others. And I think what's really particularly cool about this is that this book just it really oozes the style that Sam wants in here, and partly because Sam is the person doing everything. Sam wrote the book, Sam drew the book, Sam inked the book, Sam colored the book. And so what you get is this truly unique version, uh, vision coming out of the book. Whereas most American comics, you kind of have one writer and another penciler and another anchor and another colorist essentially so that, you know, everybody could draw this one character and keep it consistent. Um, not so much personality comes out of that process, I think. I think a lot of things gets lost. But, but here, you know, everything, there's nobody else that could draw this book and have it be the same book other than Sam, which I think is a really unique feat and, and pretty admirable. Uh, the story is fantastic. Like I said, they read really fast. I actually felt like reading these books was a little bit like watching an episode of a cartoon. They took me probably about 25 minutes to read each about that length, and they kind of stay in my head that way and have this nice spanning arc of a story that goes between both, but still a nice standalone story in each of them. So check these out. I really can't recommend them enough. Fantasy Sports, Volume 1, Volume 2 by Sam Bozma. It's No Brow Press, and I believe they're about $20 cover price in the U.S. Until the next one, guys, take care.